back to the channel. Um, I'm Nicole, if you're new here, and I flip things on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari, and Facebook. I'm still on all those. I'm giving them all a fair try where I'm posting more regularly to see what I want to get rid of and what I don't. I have a huge, huge haul for the bins today, so I'm going to jump right in and get to it. A lot of bread and butter brands, not a ton of like one of a kind type of things, but I um, think it was a really great day. All of this came up to about, it was $118, and that was with four chairs for my whole school room, so more like $114, um, which isn't bad for what I got, you will see. Here we go. <laughs> this is Charming Charlie, which I've seen a different tag of them. I don't know if this is the older tag or newer tag. Probably the older one, but this was super cute. Got a lot of dresses this time, which I don't normally get. It's got like a zipper back on it. And pretty much all of this stuff is going to sell for between, I'll say, $15 and $25. Um, and each thing probably cost me, I don't know, I should count it all and see. <laughs> this is Karen Scott, not a great brand. I went on style for this one. It's this awesome, it's got like a button thing over here. Awesome striped sweater. Not a great material or anything. Just literally just style on that one. Another style base pickup. Um, I don't think this is any sort of brand northern northern outpost. But this sweat this shirt, um, I think it'll sell. It's a nice little rooster graphic print. Everybody loves chickens right now <laughs> since COVID started. Um, we're building a chicken coop too, so I'm included in that. This is Talbots. I got a lot of Talbots this time, which I don't usually pick a lot of that up, but found some really great stuff and it's all like new. This is just like a blue and black open waterfall front cardigan. This is a Syracuse Nike shirt that's like new. I actually live pretty close to Syracuse. That school is a pretty big deal. It's even got this go orange Syracuse thing down at the bottom. Doesn't look like it's ever been worn. This is Talbot's. It's a wool skirt. It's got really nice colors, especially for this time of year. I'm going to try to get most of this. I shouldn't say most of this listed this week because I really don't think I'm going to go to the men's next week with all the stuff that I got. Um, but I want to get the Christmassy stuff and the new with tag stuff up in the next few days. I should make another pile for it, to be honest. This is so awesome. A tail bits again. And this is one of two really cool things I found. This is like an equestrian themed little cardigan. It's like one of the grandpa cardigans. How cool is that? <laughs> I think that'll sell really well. This one was exciting. Pendleton wool blazer jacket and I have the skirt that goes to it the same pattern and size and everything. Good find there. That one is obviously going to be more than just the $25 mark that I gave everybody. This one is based on style too and I might keep this for myself if it's not selling for a ton online. It's apartment 9 but look at this. Oh. I love this sweater so much. I might just have to keep it just because. <laughs> Mustard yellow is one of my favorite colors, and so isn't this burnt orange for clothes. And these color, this color combo is awesome, and it's my size. I don't know if I can sell that. <laughs> this is English Laundry, which I had never heard of, but it's actually a really good brand. This shirt should sell 20 to 25 bucks just for a basic polo. This was an interesting find. It's Abercrombie and Fitch. It's like a herringbone plaid type of um, pattern. And it's a trench coat. Really nice. That'll go for, I think I saw like 40 this is pretty cool, but I really don't know what is going on with the sizing on this. If it's a kid's or what. Wrangler. 
says extra small, but it really is. It's pretty long, but it's tiny, so I really don't. I'm going to have to look it up. It does look like a kid's shirt, but look at this pattern. So cool. <laughs> Cowboys all over it. I found like a whole bin that just had universal thread pretty much. Universal thread, and I love this one too. It's very thick and heavy, and you can't see the pattern very well. There, it's multicolor, striped, so pretty. This is new with tags. I found quite a bit of new with tags stuff too, and it's got like literally, I think this is like a vintage TJ Maxx tag. I don't know how old this is, but it's an Adidas extra large golf jacket brand new I'm pretty sure it's vintage it's got that vintage smell which stinks because I cannot wash that with the tag being on it I will have to use some dryer sheets and a steamer universal thread again and universal thread they're all like two X's which is a great size I got two of these in different colors I might lot them actually it's like a sweater tank top it's so cool one bag out of what six can't believe I got this much stuff I had two carts full with my brother-in-law went with me and I filled his up too after he went out once American Eagle these button-ups do pretty well for me especially with okay where's the other side <laughs> these pearl snaps do pretty well I looked it over the best I could. I don't know. Every time I say that, I get a stain as soon as I put it up in the on the mannequin. This scarf I picked up. I was trying to look it up in the store. It wasn't showing me anything, and it's so light that I didn't really care to leave it behind. And it's all silk. It has a tag right here. Pure silk. Made in Japan. So I'm going to look more into that. I don't really know what that brand is. If you do, drop a comment below <laughs> because I don't. This is Lily Pad, but the brand didn't really matter to me because <laughs> this thing is so cool. It's got like a balloon sleeve. It does have some wear to it. I'm going to have to give it a little bit of a shaving and stuff with cheetah and cheetah trim and everything. And it's like, it's a tunic top too. It's pretty long. Love that. Chico's. I don't pass up Chico's. A lot of people do. I just posted two things that were Chico's within the last month. They both sold for like 35 bucks. And I think that's the only Chico's I have listed currently. And this is cheetah print. I mean, come on. <laughs> uh, size one, so it's a one X. It's got these cool little sequins at the front. Like I said, I got a lot of style-based pickups and bread and butter type stuff this time. Universal thread again, and it's a cardigan, button up, grandpa style cardigan. Very pretty. Universal thread again. It's like a whole bin when they rolled it out of just universal thread. This one is like an ombre tone sweater got the cable knit detail. I really don't know how much these Universal Thread sweaters are going to go for, but I'm going to guess I'll throw out $30 a piece. I'm not really sure. It might be more like $25. I don't know. American Eagle Outfitters. I don't always grab this, but I love this style. It's got like a lace upper and like a bell sleeve, and it's short sleeve. And then a very roughly lower. This was fun. <laughs> I found one of these, couldn't find the other one, and then ended up finding two more. So I don't quite know how I'm going to lot these yet. Um, these are curtains. And they've got this really cool intricate, intricate <laughs> print on them. Oh, these smell great. Somebody just washed them. Um, and I can't remember the brand on these now. Bear with me one second. Waverly Garden Room. Um... I had the one, I looked it up, and I was pleasantly surprised that these sell for like $60 for the set. And I have the third 
third panel. I don't know where the fourth one went. And uh, hopefully I'll unfold these and there'll be a fourth one in here and that'd be awesome. But I am super happy they fell for that much. Um, if you find the new stuff, like new in the package of that brand, it sells for quite a bit. This, I don't know much about either. I'm going to have to look this up as well. Peter, oh, Prater, I don't know. This is in a different language. It's like this, it's a scarf, but it's got this weird print on it. A bunch of different scenes on it. I think it's pretty cool. No tag, so I'm going to have to look more into that one. Ah, this is my other Talbot's find that is so cool. Like that equestrian jacket. This is, oh, I love it so much. Let me try to get it. It's got like a scene from like Britain on there. I think it's Britain anyway. And this awesome like striped bottom. I have high hopes for those two. Um, cardigans. This, again, style-based. I don't even think I looked up this brand. It's Nick and Mo, maybe? But it's like this all-over lace. Um, and it's peplum at the bottom. And it's a button-up style. This is Lib... Libeco, Libeco, Belgian linen. If you find this brand of pillow covers, pre-owned, sheets, anything like that, awesome money. That is a Bolo brand right there. Um, I think it said Pottery Barn on a lot of the listings, so it must be sold there, which that's just crazy to me that it's worth that much. But This is Banana Republic, but I would have got it even if it wasn't. It's like a blanket scarf that's striped, super soft, fringe hem. I'll say that'll go for about 25. I think this is the other part to my Pendleton set. Yep. Pendleton. Here's the skirt to it. It's like a pencil skirt. I picked up some sheen, which sells quick for me, but it just doesn't sell for a ton. So these will probably sell for 15 each. Um, hopefully I can get that much out of them anyway. But it's sheen, and these were really cool. They're like this almost metallic looking gold pants with these ruffles on them. These are some Levi's, which I'll pick up if they're in super good shape at the uh, bins. They're 505s. Sell for around 20 usually. Allison Craig. Um, this again is like a Christmassy thing that I need to get up. And I have the whole suit to that, I believe, as well. It's wool. Also found a ton of J. Jill. This is J. Jill a dress. Oh, this is Saison. I think that's how you Oh no, Cashmink. I don't know if that's a great brand, but I just like the style of the scarf. It gives me like boho type vibes. It's acrylic. I wish it was wool. This is purely style based. I couldn't really find much on it, but I just love the. It's made in can or it's a Canadian company. It's like a rainbow maple leaf. <laughs> Another fun sheen find. These are leather, beige pants. <laughs> I think those will sell well. If I could find the right end here. Pronto Uomo, I think that's how you pronounce that. Looked it up and they sell decently, so I picked it up. It's just like a basic gold colored long sleeve shirt. That one needs to be washed for sure. No steamer for that one. 
This is Rose and Olive, brand new with tags. And it is a super, super cute floral print. It's got tie sleeves with a slit in them. It's tied at the bottom too. Very cute. Here's the other piece to that. Oh, I want to put that in a pile of this stuff. Here's the other piece to that, Allison. Oh, this one's Kathy Daniel. Oh my gosh, what did I do? <laughs> I thought they were the same one. Anywho, another Christmassy design. They really do look exactly the same. That's just crazy. I mean, really, I gotta show you. <laughs> look at this. It's the same exact pattern. I wonder if they're the same size. Now I have to see. 14. Well, I guess it w they wouldn't be the same size, would they? And this jacket has no size. That's fun. No. Ooh! <laughs> First time this has ever happened to me. Look at that. <laughs> $12 right in the pocket. <laughs> Yay! That's been on my list of things that I want to happen as a reseller. <laughs> oh, there's a hole in this pocket. That's good to know. Anyway, they really are the same exact um, print, so I'll have to figure out the size on the top and do some measuring. Funny that that happened right on the camera, too. <laughs> so I need to check everything. I really I don't check pockets as much as I should. First of all, I need to know if there's holes in them so I can tell people. Second of all, I could find treasure in there. This is Callaway Golf Vest. Um, it looks brand new. It really doesn't look like it's been used. There was a receipt in the pocket of this one earlier, so I know that it was, though. X-Series, I'm not sure if that makes it better or not. I haven't looked it up. I just grabbed it knowing Callaway. Val Mode. This is like a vintage nightgown. They're vintage lingerie nightgowns. I guess this was lingerie at one point. <laughs> uh, sells pretty well. Not a brand I always pick up, but this is outerwear, and they're like fishing shorts, basically, or hiking shorts, I guess. So I did pick it up. They'll sell for about 20 They look brand spanking new, or else I wouldn't have got them at all. This is fun. This is Cabela's. I don't always pick that up. But it has an all over like deer buck print. Which I think will be great. I'm going to put that in this pile to get listed soon. This is a Sublime shirt. That's tie-dye which is awesome. Pretty sure. I think somebody just made this. It says M and O gold. I don't know. Extra large. It says 2015 Sublime on the at the bottom of the graphic here. So another Universal Thread. This is that other tank top I was talking about. That's a sweater. I probably will lot those together. I don't know. Something in my eye. Sheen again and style base as well. It says Cess La Vie. I don't know. Cie La Vie. It's a cropped sweater. I think that'll do well, especially on Poshmark, probably. This is Talbots again. Nice print to it. Button up cardigan. It's always a plus when cardigans have pockets. This one does not, which is sad. I think people go for those much more than they do. Here's another English laundry shirt. It's a different tag. I don't know which one's newer or what, but this one's bright orange. Here's another new with tags. This is French laundry, which I think is like a basically like a knockoff to that English laundry. I'm not 100% sure. New with tags. I like the zipper on the front and the tie front, so I did grab it, and it was new with tags. Super lightweight. Probably didn't cost me much of anything. American Eagle. Not always a pickup for me, but at the bins I'll grab it sometimes. And I loved 
this awesome bell sleeve on here with the crisscross neckline. Super soft too. Here's another Talbots size 12 skirt, wool. This also gives me, I don't know if I'd say Christmassy vibes, but kind of. This was pretty cool too. This is Nike Team Apparel. It's like a windbreaker jacket and new with tags. I don't really know what team this is supposed to be or if it was supposed to be like a high school team and they never used it or what, but I'm sure it'll still sell. It almost reminds me of like the Braves colors. I don't know. Let's see if it has, the retail was 60 bucks, so hopefully it'll sell for like 30. Ish. Oh, new with tag. Getting to put it in the right top pile. More J. Jill. Another dress. Striped with this one little pocket. Super cute. Checking all the pockets now. Oh, and another new with tags. This I thought was pretty cool. They look like they don't sell for a ton. But it's a, a cheetah print bodysuit, so I mean can't really go wrong right and it's new with tags it's called gaze it's an extra small another bag down oh my goodness I have so much stuff never heard of this brand free planet but I love the USA and look at this <laughs> stars and stripes Let's see this Natural Life, I looked this up, they weren't selling the greatest, but I think that with the right keywords, this skirt will sell super well. It's very boho-y. It's got a slit side on it. It's like a paisley print. It's actually mixed, it's like patchwork. This, again, just style-based. I don't even know what the brand is because I think the tag was like ripped out. It just says, we live by the moon. I would keep this if it was my size, but it is not. It's like a burnout. Another j Joe, which this, I feel like this isn't a typical j Joe that you find. It's like this patchwork, satin feel. It's got like a 3-4 sleeve. Very pretty. More J. Jill. Just another dress. I kind of like the pattern that's on it. It's almost like an Aztec y type pattern. More J. Jill. Same type of pattern. This is a button up. <laughs> These I probably shouldn't have gotten, but I'm going to lot them together. They're probably from Walmart, to be honest. But they're like the Burnout Dr. Pepper, and there's one that's Pepsi Cola. So I'll let you guys know how these do. I was thinking I would lot them and put them for like 15 bucks for the lot. I don't know. Oh, I just noticed a stain on this. First one I've noticed, though. Maybe I can get it out. I don't know. They're size medium, and I figured it was too good to be true, but because of the white. They say pink all the way down them. Victoria's Secret sweatpants. I don't know, let me put that in my This is Jones, New York. It's a wool skirt again. Which I don't really love picking up skirts to be honest. Um but I did pick up a Talbots one. It was new with tags. It sold for like $35 super quick on eBay. So now I've been looking for wool skirts, and we'll see how they do. This is the Phillies Nike shirt. It's got a name on the back. Baseball team, women's. That'll probably sell for like, that one might sell for like 12 rather than 15, I guess. I don't know. These will sell for probably about 20, 25. They're four, kid size 40 Carhartt overalls. I feel like that's going to be a Facebook Marketplace sale right there. This is Sheen again. 
again with the pleather. This is a skirt. I thought it was a shirt at first. <laughs> Somebody's going to love this. It's got a zipper back and these awesome like tie front things. This, I was looking for that other curtain panel when I found this. I just happened to look into the bin. It looks almost like the tie I got last time, which I don't think I did a haul video with that one. Lauren, Ralph Lauren, the chain print with their logo. This was style based pickup as well. Venus is the brand, which is one that I don't usually pick up, but this thing is so cool. It's very fuzzy and this is the print on it. I don't even know. It's just kind of like splotchy. It's got an awesome like balloon sleeve. Very, very soft. And it's a sweater dress with a whole zip front all the way down. So I think this will be great for the holiday season. American Eagle, soft and sexy. This is the one. This is the type of fabric that sells better for them, from my experience, anyway. This is, I was excited about. This is my first time ever finding this brand. Peter Millar. First time ever. Nice blue quarter zip. This is just loft, but I thought the design was super cute. I love these colors. It's just a striped, soft sweater. This one I debated and eventually decided to pick up. It's Joseph A. It retailed for $68, I guess. Um, and it's got a turtleneck. Super, super soft. But it doesn't really have any special material, so I don't know if that was good pickup or not. This is, again, tail bits, size 10, and it's like a tweed dress, midi dress. I don't know if there's any wool in this. I don't really want to make you wait on the camera, but I kind of want to check. Well, I don't feel the tag right now, so I'll find out later. These are Supernatural Join the Hunt from the TV show and everything to do with that is doing great. These are like pajama pants. Um, people really like that show so when I looked it up I was pleasantly surprised. This is an L.L. Bean dress which I've never seen before. <laughs> um, it's a midi length I would say. I can back up a little more to show you. This is Brooks Brothers 346. Not as good as, you know, Brooks Brothers. Just a basic long sleeve Henley. This I got because it was anime. I did not look it up. Super lightweight, so. Anime, people love anime. And they'll pay for it. <laughs> it's called My my Hero Academy? I don't know. We'll see. Maybe this is the Saison. If I'm saying that right. Scarf made in Italy. Super, super soft floral print with a fringe at the end. Very cute. Got over in this pile, actually. I'm just sorting out the stuff I really want to get listed right away. This is called Karen Sport, but it's not like, it's Karen with like a C. I think it's Karen. Uh, this is a style-based pickup. I love when they do that with sweaters. They're like all these manufactured distressed areas. And this is a tunic sweater, which helps the value too. Only two more bags to go. I said I had a lot, and I really meant it. Whew, legs are getting tired. This is Karen Scott. Again, I don't usually pick that up, but I loved the embroidered roses right here on this cardigan. 
I got a few ties that are all silk. Ties are so lightweight and they sell for, you know, $10 a piece, so whatever. JJ's House. I didn't know this brand, but I looked it up. This will probably sell for around $50. It's, there's, they make like wedding apparel. So I don't know if this would be bridesmaid or mother of the bride or what, but I grabbed it. Northern Reflections, again, probably a nobody brand, but I loved this print. It would have been better for fall. And they've got the leather elbow patches. This is another one that surprised me. Alexander Julian Colors. This brand actually does surprisingly well on eBay. It's like this vintage look. Might even be vintage, I'm not sure. Top, it's very heavyweight. This is Talbots again, another wool skirt. This one's kind of cool. It's got like, I don't know. I don't want to say perforations. Crochet, lace type of stuff at the bottom. This is Chico's again. This is a jacket. These are rolled up. I should have checked the bottom for stains, but I did not. Oh my gosh, my big huge pile just fell over me. This is an Adidas older Boston Red Sox sweater. This is Maurice's. An, again, a brand that doesn't sell for a ton, but sells quick for me, especially in this type of style. It's a little the dress, but it's got like a slit side on, but it's also lined, so for more coverage. I love the patterns to it. This is, somebody made this, but it's ACDC. And it's tie-dye, which is awesome. Chico's again, and this one will sell well. I know it will. Cheetah print, although this one, it's a 1X, but it seems kind of small, to be honest. And I just noticed a spot in the back. I have to wash it. Cheetah print, it's got like this gold chain around the top. This is just Walmart, which I think I'm going to keep this. I would never, I mean, I have sold one No Boundaries thing once um, for like $10. It was a new with tags jean skirt, which this is new with tags, so I guess I'll decide after. I don't know. Oh, I got these for my daughter, but I'm going to show you because like, <laughs> oh, these are great. I don't know if she'll wear them, but there's another one that I'll have to show you when I find it. This is Lulu's, which is a pretty good brand. And it's this awesome, awesome dress. Very pretty and elegant. It's like a, what are they called? The dress that's bodycon, I guess, dress. It's got a zipper back. And it's like all this floral lace all the way through the whole dress. More new with tags. Let's see, Style & Co. Again, not a great brand. I'm telling you, I didn't go by brand a whole lot uh, this thrift trip. This is a tunic top, floral, new with tags. Last bag. This needs some shaving, but it is Alexandra Bartlett, which I just sold one just like this. Um, Lamb's Wool and Angora Cable Knit Pink Sweater. This is a vintage nightgown by Barbizon, which does decently. It does need to be washed, and you see there's a stain or two, I think, on it. Very vintage. It's got like this lace sleeve to it, and it's very long. I don't even 
usually pick these up, especially if I'm paying full price, but because it was pretty cheap, this will probably sell for like 17. Any Bauer, just a basic fleece, quarter zip, orange sweater. Some more ties. This was a good find. I don't know the style of it or anything right now, but it's like a very thick, maybe an underlayer is what I want to call it. They're thick and they got like a nylon feel to them. And they are L.L. Bean, which was exciting. I'm trying to show you the logo, but it's not working. There we go. Another scarf. More stuff for my daughter. The one thing I want to show you is... <laughs> this is awesome. These are like country music singers. And then the bottom's like a cheetah print. <laughs> I love it. These ones are cheetah and rose with like a sequin flare bottom to them. More for kids. Kids. Got her these like pleather pants too that I found. Which are actually from Walmart. I've never seen anything like it at Walmart. I always get too much crap for my kids when I go up there, which I need to quit doing. Or at least donate some of the crap they already have before I buy more. This is called Batik Cotting? I don't know. But I've sold some Batik cloth style things before. Not necessarily clothes. But I, this is an awesome style. I really like it. And I just picked it up because I knew it would sell. I didn't look it up at all. Yeah, anything with like this design right here is called like a batik cloth. I'm, I'm probably saying that wrong. More for the kids. One of them needed snow pants. I bought new ones last year and they lost all of them. And more for the kids. So I think that's about it. I had one more sheen tank top that's like a sparkly type tank top. Um, very basic, nothing exciting. And I found Sven, which I might uh, give to my daughter for Christmas. I don't know. He is posable, but I feel like this leg is a little messed up. I don't know. Pretty big plushy here. So, whew, finally done. <laughs> uh, that was my haul from just today. This will last me, I'm hoping, two weeks, but maybe just a week, depending on how sales are if I decide to go back to the bin the next week. Um, I'm hoping to do another What Sold video very, very soon and get that up for you guys. I had some pretty exciting sales over the weekend, so yeah, that's about it for today. Remember to like and subscribe if you like my content, and I will see you guys next time.